So anyway, here are my psychotic tips for traveling. Um, and like I said, being fed on by bed bugs maybe not such a bad thing, but if you bring them home, that, that, yeah, you don't want that to happen. It's going to give you mental anguish for many years to come. So, my tips. First off, you know, why not? I mean, some data is better than no data, right? Even if it's not reliable. Um, maybe you go to this bedbugregistry.com and you try to see if the hotel you're going to stay at has, has had an infestation. And like you said, you never know who's actually making these reports. But, you know, usually what happens is you go on there, somebody has made a, a detailed report of, the, of their infestation in their room. And what you'll see is, is the manager from that hotel has come on a week later and said, we've done this to get rid of the problem, everything's good. And that's what you want to look for. So is the hotel actually doing something to manage this? So look for that. Again, you know, just because it's on this website doesn't mean that it necessarily has bed bugs. It may or may not. But better than nothing. So bedbugregistry.com, you can search for hotels. Um, another thing I do before I travel is get a new bag. You know, my wife loves her little rolling bag with wheels and has all these spaces to hide. So you wheel this into a room, endless spaces for bed bugs to hide. So what I've done is back in eighth grade, my parents bought me this Nautica cologne. It came with a sweet duffel bag. Um, and I still have it. And it's now my main bag that I use for traveling because it has one zipper, has no pockets. There's nothing on the outside except a Nautica symbol. Um, but anyway, this is what I use now. And I bring that home. I put it directly in a garbage bag. Um, I take it downstairs, and I can fit everything into the wash. So I can wash my bag, which is great. When my wife comes home with this bag, and this, I'm not joking here. Um, I, I, of course, I talk to her about this in, in advance. Like, did you see anything in your room? Did you do the inspection? Any signs, anything. When you come home, do not bring your bag inside, please. Um, so I do. You know, she usually texts me, I'm coming over the past now. And I, I wait outside, I have my garbage bags in hand. She gets out of the shuttle, I take all the clothes out of the bag, put them in garbage bags, I leave, I leave the bag outside. What's that? She has to strip down too? Uh, may, that comes later. <laughs> but, uh, no, so I take all those clothes in the bag, um, take them immediately down to the washing machine, put it on a hot, hot cycle and then a hot dry. Um, the bag, I usually leave it out there till the morning um, so I can do the inspection in daylight. And then I inspect the bag. And then when I'm done inspecting, I think it's good. I'll still bag it in garbage bags and tie it shut because I can't wash it. Anyway, so that, that, that's kind of my, I can only imagine what the neighbors are thinking <laughs> when they come home. Yeah, yeah, you, you could do a mini fumigation if you wanted. Um, here we have this, uh, this encasement you can buy for your bag. So, I mean, not only do you worry about hotel rooms, but what about flying? You never know whose luggage has bed bugs in it. Somebody tosses your bag on top of a bed bug infested bag, they could infest your bag. Like I said, this is a little psycho. Worst case scenario, but um, it might be the future. It might be a realistic future. Um, so these encasements, you know, they could do a good job of protecting your bag. I don't know. I'm sure they make durable, ba durable encasements that work. I don't know. This is the only one I've seen, so I haven't actually researched them myself. Okay, so what do I do when I get there? I leave all my stuff in the car, if that's an option. I check in with a big smile on my face. Um, and then I go immediately to the room, and I do my inspection, which takes about 15 to 30 minutes. The nicer the hotel, the nicer the room, the longer it takes. And it's a lot easier with two people, it turns out. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what I do in a second. Um, the other thing is, is maybe sometimes I never bring my bag in. If I'm on the road giving a talk or something, I just bring the clothes I need for the next day, and I put them in the bathroom on top of the sink. Um, so, again, a little extreme, but here's what I do. You know, that initial inspection I did down in Price, I, I just kind of pulled back the covers, and I looked at the seams of the mattress, and I said, okay. Um, but now, I completely take the bed apart. I take all the bedding off, I throw it on the dresser, I mean, usually they're not going to be in the bedding, especially the new linens, because they change the linens you know, on a daily basis. They might be in here in the pillows, whatever. But you throw out stuff on the floor anyway, right? Um, anyway, I take all this stuff off. I take the mattress down to its bare mattressy self. Um, I check the top. I flip it over. This is where it helps to have somebody. Um, I check the whole backside. I'm looking at every face of the mattress, and I'm looking really closely at the cording 
because bed bugs are often lined up, you know, inside the cording. Um, then I then I look at the top surface of the box spring. I flip up the box spring. Usually there are two, um, which makes moving them easier. And the box springs are very complex, of course, because they're hollow and they have that dust cover on there. So I'm looking very closely, for, especially for the fecal material. Um, sometimes I'll tear a little hole in the dust cover and kind of peer in. You know, <laughs> do I see it? No, I don't do that. Um, so I do that, and then I, I, I search the bed frame. I search the, uh, the baseboards behind the bed and behind these dressers. Um, you'll find that most of the time the headboards come right off. They just kind of pop right off. I search the back of those, look in the screw holes and the staple holes everywhere. Um, again, you're looking for the fecal material and the bed bugs and the eggs, looking for all those things. Yeah. Okay. Is that be careful what else you find. <laughs> yeah, don't bring your black light. Put your hands where you can't see. Um, anyway, yeah, be careful what else you find under there. Yeah. Um, so you move headboard. And, and these dressers right next to the desk, I usually flip those over. I look in the drawers first. If I flip them over and, and look at that little void, that three inch void that's underneath of them usually, and I do that. And that takes, you know, 10 minutes to a half an hour depending on the complexity of the room. Um, if you find them, well, I'd go down and talk to the hotel manager. Maybe they'll give you 10% off. Everybody's happy. You go back up. And you're smiling. Um, yeah, you may ask for another room. You may ask for them to pay for a room in another hotel. You know, you can threaten to scream, I guess. It's like, don't make me yell bed bugs. But I don't know. You know, if they take you back upstairs and throw you in the room next to it, I mean, come on. Anyway, I don't know. I mean, maybe, if, maybe I would say go to a different wing of the hotel. Could be safe there. At least an upgrade. Yeah, at least an upgrade. Um, what we recommended, f or talking with the, you know, the people in Park City that run these you know, luxury resorts, was that if they find bed bugs in the room, you, know, you have somebody designated to deal with this complaint. You offer them a free day at the spa, for instance. And you tell them, leave all your clothes, all of your stuff in the room. They'll give you these new robes. You go to the spa for the day. You take all their stuff. You heat treat it or you fumigate it. Um, and you move them to a new room once all their stuff has been treated. And they, they've had a nice day at the spa. They have a new room, maybe with an upgrade. Um, and their stuff is bed bug free. So you haven't dispersed bed bugs. That was one of our options. So. And then, then somebody had asked, what about bed bug fraud? Not to give anybody ideas, but... It's like, what if somebody brings their own bed bugs to the hotel and, you know, wants to get free stuff because they have bed bugs? Like, I hadn't thought about that, but that's a great idea. <laughs> um, anyway, this is what I do. And if there are a lot of bed bugs, you're going to see them quickly. If there's a low-level infestation, you know, large, vast majority of the time, they're going to be right here on the bed, the headboard, or the baseboard. So if you don't see them in these spots, then the room's probably good. That's not to say there aren't bed bugs in the room against the wall here, and that room's vacant, and they won't migrate to you at night and migrate back. And again, I'm paranoid. <laughs> okay, and then how I found my bed bugs was seeing the signs in the morning. So you know you have fresh linens on there, you hope. But, you know, you wake up in the morning, take a look at the sheets and the pillowcases. Do you see fecal material on there? If you do, then be suspect and ask for garbage bags, bag everything up. Maybe get your 10% discount. You never know. Um, you know, I, whenever I had my stuff, I put it all, I double bagged it in thick plastic, took it to the laundromat. Um, I was very careful not to, you know, spill things. I still actually, that was a year and a half ago, I still have stuff in quarantine in the garage. It's probably, including that bed bug book. It's probably okay now. Anyway, 